This is England versus Uruguay, and England must hope now to recover some of the reputation she has lost in previous matches abroad. But it's Uruguay quickly on the attack. From Abadi, the ball goes across to the opposite wing, to Borges. Borges shoots into the net a goal. England one down. Five minutes play gone in the first half. But Lofthouse forces the equaliser. Here now the ball comes to Lofthouse, almost from the penalty spot, he shoots into the corner of the net. 1-1. One, one. Oh, clearly enough, a free kick for Uruguay. That was bringing it nearer to all in wrestling. But it's safely cleared. A shot, but well over the bar. However, what they missed by their free kick, the Uruguayans make up for in a long shot by their veteran captain, Varela. 2-1. Now it's 3-1 as a result of a shot by Schiaffino. And what a wonderful footballer this man is. 25,000 pounds worth of footballer, or at least that's what Milan paid for him during this competition. But there's still Stanley Matthews for England. Watch him in slow motion, beating his man. Which way will he go? Beating two men, pushing a pass back along the ground to Tom Finney. Finney now beats his man. Pushes the ball across. Out comes the ball again. Another shot, it's blocked. Back it comes out again, another shot, and this time over the line. But this is so complicated. Let us see it once again in slow motion. There's the first shot, blocked. Again, Finney shoots, and this time over the line and into the net. So England have pulled up, 3-2. Now the question is, can England force the equaliser? Now the game's getting rough. Out comes the goalkeeper to see what's the trouble here. And also, up comes referee Steiner from Vienna. And Steiner clears the field and brings things under control again. And so they fight on England after the equaliser, Uruguay trying to clinch matters. And clinch it they do through a goal by Ambrose. 4-2 and England make their...